one of the applications, early applications of computers and what got people really interested in computers were things like the Atari video system. This is uh, the place where uh, the young people of the day actually got to put their hands on a computer and do things with it. Uh, yes, it was playing games, but it was really a computer. It's uh, much more compact than the, the earlier computers like the Commodore. Again, this was made uh, possible by the uh, shrinking of the electronics and also having more and more accurate time bases. Uh, you can see now, uh, compared to the Commodore, this whole computer is really just uh, three or four integrated circuits. At the time, uh, the IBM was making a computer, but this was a computer that the average household could afford. It didn't require a monitor. It would be shown through the television. You had uh, inputs that, that it would read and it could do calculations and did all of the calculations for uh, generating the games. And since this is a computer, it requires a time based function correctly. And the, as the computer gets going faster and faster, the time base has to be more accurate. But still, again, the crystal a uh, controlled oscillator for the time base is what was used in, in this application and that allowed it to synchronize all of the functions in the computer as well as the function, the input-output to the television set. It's very important for all of the pieces to be able to talk together. So uh, the computer itself is operating in the megahertz range, it's uh, millions of cycles per second. And to get that clock uh, frequency, they would start out at a very high frequency. Uh, this crystal might be oscillating at, at 10 times the speed of the clock they want. They could use a digital counter that would count down and it would then give you the clock itself that uh, was synchronizing the memory and the CPU of the computer. But now you also have to synchronize that with a television set which is running at only uh, a sweep rate of uh, 30 frames per second. And so you would just continue to count down from the megahertz down into the, to the low frequencies and you would be able to get that synchronization all from this one time source. So you have one very accurate, very high frequency time source, and you would count down digitally to get to the frequency that you actually want to use.